Hello, I'm Dr. Stephen Andrew Missick, and I want to address my family, my friends, and just people who are trying to find out who I am, and I have to acknowledge a problem. There are several fake profiles under my name and under the names of the church my father founded and that I am the senior pastor of. We have a team of ministers and teachers uh, in our congregation, but I am the senior pastor. Uh, this is nothing new. Um, Unfortunately, I've been fighting against fake profiles on social media for some time, but it looks like now we know who's been doing it because he's come out publicly showing that he's behind this the whole time. So these fake profiles are under my name and they're using my picture, uh, but they are fraudulent and they are meant to spread false and disparaging information about me. And like I said, this has been going on for um, probably eight years and I've been fighting against this, but now the culprit doing this has finally been exposed. He's exposed himself. Uh, what is the motivation of this person doing this? This is an attempt uh, to close the church down and cause my family harm and uh, cause the family to lose my father's estate. The man operating these fake profiles and sites is also trying to insult the memory of my father. who passed away two years ago. This is very disgraceful. I mean, they should have respect for my father and, and respect for the dead, but no. Um, sadly, this hateful and deceitful campaign is being carried out by one of my brothers. My brother, I'm not going to say his name because my intent is not to do him any harm, um, but I have to confront this problem that's been going on for a long time. Uh, so my brother has stolen my identity and is using it to harm me and others. So what is his motivation? Apparently he's been in, engaged in this identity theft, theft of me and has been using my name and image to scam people, apparently it's people for money as well. Uh, and uh, he's been doing this for some time, he's been doing this for years, as I mentioned. This is kind of a common scam, I've seen it. Um, I've seen uh, pro fake false files my friend. I remember I had this friend named Phil, <laughs> you know. And then I got a friend request, and it's like, hey, it's Phil, I thought he's already my friend. And it's like, but what happens is sometimes people get off Facebook, they delete their account and they reopen it. So I said, well, maybe Phil did that. So I looked at it, and it didn't take long to realize that this wasn't Phil. This is some kind of scammer. So then I find Phil. It's like, hey, you know somebody scammed your, your, your account. Uh, I've known several people that that's happened to. So it's also happened to me. And my brother, you know, made a big deal out of it. What are you doing that happens to you? Well, you report it, right? So, as I said, I've seen fake profiles of friends. This recently happened to one of my, uh, my fellow chaplains, actually. Uh, so this is a common scam. The fraudsters download your picture and create a fake, fake, a fake profile of you and use it to scam people. So this is what my brother is currently doing to me. And he could probably, oh, I'm not, you know, I didn't do all these other scams. But he's doing it now. He's doing it now. So he has several fake, and apparently he's doing it all along. I mean, obviously. Uh, so this is what my brother's doing to me. And he's, like I said, he's apparently he's been doing it for a long time now. Of course, I'm currently building a case against my brother. Sadly, I'm, I'm sorry I have to do this, but you know I have to document everything he's doing. Uh, all these sa all these sites that he has are evidence of criminal acts, cyber crimes. Whenever I find one of these fake profiles of me, I immediately report it to Facebook. Oddly, sometimes they don't take them down. It might be because, as my sister said to me, you know, as I'm dealing with this this issue of all these fake uh, fake profiles of me, and she says, you know, it's always been him. <laughs> It's my brother who's been engaging in this fraud, and the reason why it's hard for me to take these down is because, as my brother, he knows a lot. He knows how to verify my identity. That that's that would make sense. It's like how come Facebook isn't taking these fake profiles down? I report them, they don't take them down. That's because my brother knows a lot of information about me, so he can uh, verify these, or he could claim it's him actually, because we we have the same uh, last name. So uh, you know. My sister's telling me about this. It's like, you know, I know you've been dealing with all these fake profiles. So I was talking to my sister, and she says, obviously we know that it was him, my own brother, all along. If it is indeed my brother, which obviously it is because he's doing it right now, overtly and publicly, uh, and we know it is because he's publicly engaging in this scam, he's been scamming people out of money. It's very sad that he would do something like that. But I mean, why is he doing it now? I mean, obviously he's done it before. He's used pictures from my deployment, and uh, he deceives women to believing that I'm indigent, an indigent soldier in the Middle East, desperate need of funds. 
and some people have sent him money. So let's look at the incident that set my, my brother off. Why is he doing this? Why is he operating publicly? All these fraudulent accounts in my name, deceiving people. They, they, they find this account, they think it's me, and he starts insulting me and lying about me and saying he's de de just uh, insulting derogatory things about me. So what happened was, uh, you know, this has been going on, and my brother's like, I want to help you. I want to help you with these identity theft issues. He says, the only way to, to stop these scammers is to allow my brother, he wanted me to give him total control of all my social media. I told him, I was, <laughs> it's like, just give everything over to me. Uh, this is in your best interest. I want, I, want, I want total access. I want you to give me your, your real Facebook profile. Give it to me. It's, it make it, I, I want totally ex access to all your messenger, everything. That's the only way we can stop the scammers is for you just give me, just give me all your social media. I want to help you. And I said, no. And he just, he just loses his mind. Uh, so he, he began cursing at me and threatening to do me physical harm. And uh, he said, he's living in Germany. So I'm going to come over there. Uh, he's supposed to come over during the holiday season. It's like, I'm coming over as soon as I can. I'm going to, since you're not giving me total access to all your social media, I'm going to come over there and I'm going to kick your ass. You have to give me total control. He's telling me, my brother's telling me, I have to have 100% control of your social media, everything, or I'm coming over there, I'm coming there as soon as I can, and I'm going to kick your ass. So that's when it's like, no, you cannot, I'm not going to give you access to all my social media. I'm not going to give you my messenger and my, you know, my cell phone and everything. I'm just not going to do it. This is my, the way I talk to certain friends, it's none of your business. I report the, the fake profiles, you know, so, like I said, he began cursing at me and threatening to do me physical harm. He intended to come uh, to America from Germany, where he resides during the holiday season. When I refused to give him total access to my social media, he began. To, uh, he said he's coming to America as soon as possible to kick my ass. For four months, every day he sent messages through text, every day insulting me and threatening to do me every, uh, uh, bodily harm. He's going to kick my ass. Threats of physical harm. I still have copies of all these texts. Every day. Long text all day long for over four months. So, as I said, uh, this isn't something new. Uh, this is the way he's treated my father this way. Uh, he treated one of my sisters this way. And he's treated an another one of my brothers this way, where he just goes on and on and on. It's like if he's awake, he's sending... Uh, just hate-filled texts. It's just something he's done. Like I say, he did it to my father. I have copies. I found this big binder uh, when I was going through my father's things, and, and it was, uh, my, my father just printed all these texts off of you know, these just hateful uh, things that, that he's saying. He's done it, to, like I said, he did it to my father. He does it to one of my brothers. He's done it to my sister. I, it's so toxic. I don't understand it. I don't understand why you could just venom. It's disturbing. So um, when he finally arrived in the USA, I decided to take his threats to kick my ass and beat the shit out of me, as he said, uh, very seriously. I mean, these are what he's saying. I'm coming over there. I'm going to kick your ass. I'm going to beat the shit out of you because you won't give me 100% total control of all of your social media. I need to get in your messenger. I need to have total access to your Facebook. If you don't give it to me, I'm going to kick your ass. So, I mean, I took it very seriously. So he's actually been seeking control over my social media for some time. He's been threatening me about what I post. So I'll give you an example. You know, sometimes I'm not on Facebook every day. And uh, there's a lot of friends, you know, I have some, it's like, you know, some of my friends might want to know how I'm doing, what's going on. I haven't posted anything in like two weeks or three weeks. I say, I'll post a picture. Hello, everybody, I'm doing okay. Or the lady that uh, her daughter uh, gave me my German Shepherd, my dog. And she goes, I like to, you know, send me some pictures of, of, Baron from time to time. I'll post a picture on Facebook and I'll tag it to you so you can see how Baron's doing. So, I, I don't know, it's my, it's my Facebook, right? I mean, what's wrong with me posting two or three pictures every three weeks and letting this lady know how the dog's doing? But he would harass me. So like, I told you not to post anything. You have to come through me. And and, and the, 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 the idea is like, you can't post anything, especially if it has you in the image because the scammers get the photographs. That's what they're after. They're after, they're after photos of me and therefore... So he was threatening me, don't post anything, 
you know, and he, if I posted anything, he'd cuss me out, threaten me, uh, or post threatening messages or try to put embarrassing messages on my Facebook uh, profile. So finally, it's like, you know, this lady wants to see this picture of, of Baron. I just will put it where it doesn't show. So several months later, then, then Paul figures out somehow to go, uh, go around that and see that uh, somehow, I mean, he's a, he's a master because that's all he does. That's, if Paul's awake and he's not eating or sleeping, he's on Facebook. I mean, so that's all he does. He just lives in Facebook. So he knows all these little tricks. Oh, I see you're trying to hide a picture of Baron from me. I'm going to get you for this. You're going to pay for hiding that picture of Baron. I went in there and I went around and I had this go around and I saw it. And I'm going to, you're going to pay for posting that picture of your dog. It's, uh, it's, it's horrible to have to deal with this, uh, this madness, this insanity. So could you imagine just, you know, being able to just engage with your friends on social media without, <laughs> with, in peace? I don't understand why it's, uh, I have to be badgered and, you know, and threatened all the time over this. So since I finally said, I'm not going to give you access to my, my social media, he's going to come over here and kick my ass and beat the shit out of me. That's what he said. So, as I mentioned, he's been trying to exert control through threats and bullying for some time. I don't understand why. You know, this is not logical, but this is what he does. Um, as I mentioned, I had to make some of my posts not show up for him. Finally, I had to block him. As I mentioned, I don't get on Facebook every day, and sometimes I'm on Facebook for a week or longer. Uh, he, he was sending me long, threatening texts every day about how he's going to, you know, teach me a lesson and take care of me and you know he's going to deal with me he's going to kick my ass so uh he's still sending these messages i don't see him because i blocked him but other family members see these you know it's all they're all about me and he posts them every day to a, a, a group chat on the on the phone so every single day he sends at least six long paragraphs you know about how he hates me and how he wants to kick my ass or whatever because I won't give him access to my social media. I know this doesn't make this is crazy, but I this is I'm just I'm being honest about what's going on. Uh, my brother stated, uh, okay, my other brother stated that this brother harassing me has a mental disability and he has the mind of a child. So I'm talking to my one of my other brothers about this issue with a brother that's harassing me. He says you got to understand he's <laughs> he has a mental disability and he has the mind of a child. But, my brother's also saying about my other brother, he doesn't have moral standards or integrity because with his mental disability, he doesn't understand the concept of right or wrong. And maybe my other brother's correct. <clears throat> he also says, my other brother says that the brother harassing me is a keyboard warrior and he makes these threats of doing physical harm, but he'll just show up and be a coward. And it's like, uh, are you, are you, can you be certain of that? That he threat he's he's been sending me text messages about he how he's going to take care of me, teach me a lesson, kick my ass, beat the shit out of me, every day, all day long. You know, ding 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 ding. All these there's text messages from him about how he's going to kick my ass every day for four months. I get these messages. So, should I take these seriously, or should I should I gamble on the chance that he is going to be when we know he's mentally ill, obviously. Can I take the risk of, oh no, he's just a keyboard warrior? And the other thing is, shouldn't he be held accountable? Should I be allow myself to be harassed you know, every day, month after month? Ding, 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 I'm going to kick your ass. I hate you. You're a dirtbag. I need control of your social media right now. I'm just for your own good. I'm just trying to help you and the family out. That's what I'm going to... I, I just want to help you out. I want to help you out. There's the scammers out there. I want to help you out. I want to help the family. This is about the legacy of, of, of dad and helping the family. And that's why I want access to your, your, your Facebook. I want to help you. That's what he's saying. And then you can't have it. I'm going to kick your ass. That's what he's saying to me. So my, old bro, my, my other brother said, oh, no, no, no. He's, he's, he's just, uh, he harasses and threatens you every day. But when it comes down to it, he's not, I don't think he's going to actually do it. But I, I, I don't know. We're not dealing with somebody who's sane. You know, maybe he will. Har harmly, uh, he's been threatening to, to harm me physically. Maybe he'll really carry through those, those threats. So I decided that as my brother is potentially dangerous, that'd be best to avoid a confrontation. I decided that'd be best 
not to be around when he shows up in America, you know, on his mission to kick my ass. I'm just not going to be here. But then, however, he started harassing my uncle, too. When he arrived, my uncle was concerned that he might be harmed by my brother from Germany. Uh, he lives in Germany. Of course, he's from, born in, uh, here in the States, but he's living in Germany now. So when my, my brother, who's been harassing me, shows up at our residence, my uncle says, you need to come and protect me against him because my uncle felt threatened by my brother. I just can't leave my brother alone when, when he might potentially get hurt. I mean, this guy's threatening to hurt people. He's there. He came over here. He said, the reason why I'm coming over here is I'm going to kick your ass. So he shows up, and he's threatening my uncle. My uncle says, I I'm, a, I'm concerned. He might hurt me. He's over here. He's made these threats. I don't feel safe. You need to come and, and, and help me uh, so I don't get hurt by, uh, by my brother. This is also when we're having, we're going to have church this weekend. Uh, my brother has contacted every single person I know and everyone in the church and has harassed them. I don't think there's a single person. There might be somebody that's gotten through his fingers, but it's like anybody that knows me, anybody on social media, he can track down. He tracks them down and he harasses them. Oh, you know, running me down, insulting me, or going on and on about uh, fake profiles. He actually frightens people. They feel threatened and harassed by him. So, as I mentioned, it's my, not my intention. I'm trying to even say his name. I don't want to harm him at all. I don't want to embarrass him. But when he does these things, I have to explain to people uh, that he harasses, that you know, my, my brother has issues. I'm sorry he's bothering you. I don't mean to run him down. But when he is harassed, disturbed, and frightened, he's, he has harassed, disturbed, and frightened pretty much everybody I know. Who is this guy? What is he, you know, what is he, what's his issue? What's the deal with him? Why is he bothering me? Why is he harassing me? Why is he sending me all these weird, incoherent texts? They seem to be <clears throat> paranoid delusions. It seems like he has paranoid delusions. In his mind, he thinks that I have run him down. Or I'm trying to embarrass him. Like I said, I, I don't mean to even utter his name in this because he's not going to. He can't stop. Right? I wish he would just stop doing what he's doing. Like I said, he's got a mental disability. He can't. He's incapable of stopping. Probably the only solution to this problem is for him to be institutionalized. He lives in Facebook. He's created multiple Facebook profiles. Dozens, but probably as many as as a hundred, it's amazing. He, I, I'm, I'm serious. He's, he's. I mean, he knows everything about Facebook. I don't, I don't know how to operate Facebook the way he does because it's all he does. Seems to me he neglects his family. He's married and has a child, but he's always in Facebook. And uh, I don't think he's allowed by Facebook to operate a profile under his name because he's gotten in trouble with Facebook. Some of it might have been uh, over posting so-called conservative memes. But I think it's probably because he's uh, violated uh, some of their policies. Now, the reason why it's very likely that all these fake profiles all this time were created by my brother. And that's why it's hard for me to take him down because he's able to verify the identity, either claiming to be me or, or you know, saying that I am you know, Mr. Missick. Um, but as I was saying, Facebook likes to restrict conservative speech. They don't seem to be concerned about fraud too much or fake profiles or people being scammed. But Facebook's very concerned about politics. They want to push left-wing politics. They want to punish people for being not being left-wing or not being you know, Marxist. If you express an alternative point of view, a more conservative traditional point of view, you could be banned for Facebook. But I don't think that's why my brother's banned for Facebook. Uh, I think he's violated their policies. I think they've caught him doing it. Um, so I think that he's been scamming people. That's what it looks like, because he's scamming people right now. And as I do this, as I'm doing this, there's several. These, these fake profiles are, are up, and they've been up for a while. I believe he's seriously mental, mentally ill. These actions, like I've, I've described, I'm not exaggerating or lying. I'm telling you what's going on. Uh, these actions are not rational. But 
Since he's mentally ill, he cannot expect it to be rational or behave rationally. I don't have any intention of harming him in any way. I just wish he'd stop this nonsense. He needs to get help. Also, I have to protect myself. Knowing that he was in the area, several regular church attendees didn't come to church because they were afraid he was going to barge into church during service and physically assault people or potentially do a church shooting. We had several people who didn't come to church when they knew he was in town from Germany, and they didn't start coming back until they knew he's back in Germany because they were afraid he was going to kick the door down during services and harm or kill. That's, why did they think this? Because of the messages they received from him, threatening messages that they believed. My brother instilled within them the belief that they were in peril uh, when he's around, that he was going to harm him, uh, he's going to harm them or me. And they, they didn't come. When they, they started coming back, to when, when they found out he was no longer in the, the country, they started coming back to church again because they didn't want to be victims of a, him coming into the shoot, a church and shooting everything. Because that's what they, that was their, their assessment of, based on the, the messages that he was sending and posting. This is their, their assessment of, of uh, his state. They, they felt endangered by him. So they came to this belief based on the threatening and harassing messages that he had sent them. They felt that he was unhinged and dangerous. So that's just something that's true. Sad, but true. <clears throat> I don't understand why he is obsessed with my social media. I, I think it's this is a symptom of uh, you know mental disability where they get they ruminate on it. They get hyper focused on one thing and they they ruminate on it. You know, I've I've taken care of kids. And, you know, as an educator, I've taken care of kids with uh, disabilities and mental illnesses. And uh, sometimes it's kind of funny, but they 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 choose one thing and it just it just consumes them, whether it's a song or a scene from a movie. And I think this is symptomatic of, of, of a mental disability. Initially, he claimed that he wanted to gain access to my social media out of my best interest in order to protect me. But look what he's doing now. I think that exposes his motivation. And it seems to me, based on what he's doing right now, my sister's correct. All these fake profiles I've been dealing with for years, it's been him all along. So he can't leave me alone. He can't. He can't. I think that'd be a big challenge if it went, once he's institutionalized. I, I, I don't think they could clear him for release because he's always going to be a danger to others. So, and especially to me, he can't leave me alone. Finally, after several months of him sending me daily threats of, you know, I'm going to kick your ass, I'm going to hurt you, you know, I'm going to teach you a lesson every day, uh, threats of physical harm. Uh, I have these, I could post these, these threatening messages. I don't want to have to do it. It looks like I'll, I'll probably have to eventually. Uh, I don't want to have to, but uh, I don't have to post this. I don't have to file it in court, but I might have to. So he, he broke into my home 5.30 in the morning. I just gotten out of bed. And I, was, I was undressed. I was in my underwear. I don't know how he got the door open. The fences should have been closed, so there's a fence, a closed fence, and the door was, I believed it was locked. I don't know how he got it unlocked, but the door was shut, so he just comes into my private residence, just barges in, and uh, I told him I didn't want him, this is my house, my pri private residence, and I didn't want him in my house. Of course, then he claims he wants property. I don't have anything that belongs to him. He has a history of stealing or taking things that don't belong to him. And sometimes he leaves, if he's, if he's gone to a place and there's things that he wants to take and he hasn't taken yet, things that don't belong to him, one of the things he did, he, he tries to stake a claim by leaving a pair of shoes, uh, a book, a comic book, uh, you know, a pack of gum or something, you know, that, that gives, I got to get back in that building because I have some property in there, you know, this is my property and that gives him right, the right to go in there and pilfer things. That's just one of these little taxes he's used for years. And whenever, whenever he's around, you can kind of tell because once he leaves, a lot of things come up missing. It's like, hey, where are all the, you know, you realize that uh, that's what he does. Um, so he claimed he wanted property. I don't have anything that belongs to him. Like I said, he has a he has a history of stealing, and sometimes he leaves pieces of property like his pair of shoes or jacket to stake claim to a place he wants to continue to burglarize. So 
he says that you know, he needs to come to the building, you know, because he has a pair of shoes in there or something. I, I, I put his stuff. He can take his stuff. I don't want it. I don't even know. The, we know why he left the stuff in there. I put it out so he can take it. I don't want to. I don't want to hold any, on to any, any of his belongings. There's a lot of things that he's stolen from me that I'd like to have back. Uh, he's claiming I tried to kill him, which is insane, and that I pointed a loaded gun at him, which is also not true. What did happen was I told him that I took his months of daily threats against me, it's my threats to do me bodily harm, insults, every day, all day long. Bing, 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 bing. Just, that's all he does is he sends you know these threatening mess, messages to me. So I took him very seriously, and I didn't want him in my home, and I wanted him to leave immediately. He refused to leave. So he breaks in the house. I said, I don't want you in here. This is my private residence. You need to get out. I'm not leaving. So we had an altercation. I got him out, and I closed the door, and I secured it. I threw some clothes on. I left in the back door. At that time, I did get a gun for self-defense. He has threatened me. He's dangerous. I don't want him to hurt me. I don't want or kill me. I mean, he might. I mean, he's totally unhinged. He's threatened to kill me and hurt me. I mean, over Facebook, you know. Over his, his, you know, it's like either you give me total control over your social media or I'm going to kick your ass. I'm going to destroy your life. I'm going to teach you a lesson. It's like I report the fake profiles. Why is he, what more can you do? And then it's like the whole reason why they won't be, apparently the whole reason why that Facebook won't close him down is because he's stolen my identity. He's able to verify these fake accounts. And if it is him doing this, like I said, he's been emotionally abusing people and uh, scamming them out of money. So he's threatened me. He's dangerous. And I don't want him to hurt or kill me as he threatened to over every day for several months. He's said he's going to come over and, and hurt me. I left as soon as I could because I don't want to have to, I don't want to get hurt or killed. I don't want to have to hurt or kill him in self-defense. I mean, he's a crazed maniac. He's threatened to harm me. I'm going to come all the way from Germany early so I can come over there and kick your ass. And then then he breaks into my house when it's still dark outside, very, very early in the morning. And I'm undressed, and I tell him he needs to leave my house, and he refuses. And then he, he assaults me. And then he's telling all these lies. I mean, he, what right does he have to break into my house and refuse to leave when I tell him to? After he's threatened me every day, threatened physical harm. Like I said, I can post these messages to people. I don't want to have to do that. I can do it. I have not done anything against my brother. What are his two issues? Number one, um, he, he, he's, he's all these fake profiles. That's he's obsessed with that. Uh, the only way to solve it, and I, I asked him about this. It's like, it's like, okay, you're telling me the only way to stop the fake profiles is to give you total control. You know, to surrender all my accounts to social media. Give them at, you have total access to everything. That's that's the way to solve the the fake profiles thing. Okay, and you can read all my text, private text messages. You know. So my whole, my whole life will be an open, open book to him, <laughs> right? Uh, that's the way to that's the way to solve it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw him. I'm gonna, if you don't do that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick your ass. And so, okay, I blocked you, and yet you're still on my Facebook all the time. You know everything I I post, and you know you're blocked. So his idea is like, oh, the reason why there's fake profiles out there is there's some of the false identity. You have 700 friends. One of them is a fake account, and that gives them access. And yet you're, you're, you're telling me that's, that's why, and that's why I have to surrender total control of my Facebook to use because there's a, I have a fake friend. I've looked through it. I can't find anything. You know, He was actually he's like, look at this guy. He's a, it's a fake profile. It's like, that's the that's sort of military thing. <laughs> oh, it's a Nigerian scammer. Yes, he's Nigerian. It's a friend of mine I served in, in Iraq with. When I, went to, I was going on a deployment with him. He must be a scammer. He's the guy. It's like, to deal with this. I, you know, I, I, it's, it's crazy. So um, it's like, okay, you're telling me that the only way to stop the scammers is to give you total and complete account, uh, control of all my social media accounts, and you can stop it, supposedly. Because somebody is a fake profile is one of my friends, and that's how they're able to download my pictures. And, 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 yet, and yet, you're blocked. You're blocked, and you're able to see everything I do. <laughs> tell me, can you tell me how that makes sense? Because I, I don't understand it. You know, so the only way somebody is doing a scam on me, you know, scamming people with my my account, is because one of my friends is a, that's a fake account. You know, supposedly, and yet. 
you're blocked and you have total access to everything I, I do online and, and, and post. And he doesn't deny, of course he does. So it's like, okay, that means that a scammer can access, if you can do it, uh, that means another scammer could get access to my photos. Same way you are. So, I think it's disgusting the things that he's been saying about my father. Um, and uh, he, he's on these videos, it's like hours. It's like four hours of videos of him bad-mouthing, lying about me, attacking my character, insulting the memory of my father. I know my father wasn't perfect. Who is he to criticize? Father's a better man than my brother, that's for sure. At least, at least my father is trying to serve God in sincerity for all of his, you know, problems. And he's a... Like I said, none of us are perfect. I think my father had more, a lot more virtues, especially a lot more than my brother uh, possesses. So uh, I think what's disgusting, what he's been saying, not, not just insulting me, but insulting my father, a lot of what he's doing in these hours-long videos is attacking me. It simply isn't true. He's delusional. This is a power play. He's trying to hurt and control me. I'm not going to let him do it. I'm going to continue with my life, and I'll continue what I do what I want to do and what I think is right. You know, I'm not going to allow him to control me. So that's what he's trying. I'm going to sabotage everything you're trying to do. I'm going to embarrass you and humiliate you because, okay, he threatens every day to do me harm physically. And then he breaks in my house at the dark of night. Without my permission, I ask him to leave and he refuses to go and he assaults me. You know, breaking and entering, criminal trespassing. You know what he says, like, I'm going to come over there, I'm going to hack, I'm going to get your computer, I'm going to take it away from you, and I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to gain one way or the other, I'm going to gain total access and control over your social media, and at the same time, I'm going to kick your ass. So he finally shows up, and, uh, I mean, that's just, that's why he came, that's why he came several months early from, from Germany to come and do this, and here he is in, in my, my home. I haven't done anything against my brother. These are unprovoked attacks that he's making against me. You know, this, this, what I'm saying sounds crazy, but uh, this isn't rational because this is a symptom of his mental illness. It's like, what is he? Like I said, he, everybody, he, you know, he scares people. Goes through everybody, you know, oh, I, I got his, his friends list. I'm going to send a hateful, insulting message to every single one of them. It's like, who is this guy? You know, they, they ask me, you know, this guy, what's he, do you know he's, Look at these messages he's sending. It's like he's disturbed. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry he's bothering you. He's got issues. He's got problems right now. I apologize. I'm not trying to run him down. And he's... Like I said, we can't understand it because it's it's not... It's, it's, it's insanity. You can't understand it. It's not logical. It's, you know, it's just It's madness. As I said, I haven't done anything to him. He's upset that... Um, that I pushed him out of the house and then that, that I, you know, took measures to protect myself and I, I left. I don't want to get killed by him and I don't want to kill him. He's my brother. But he threatened, you know, for every, you know, every day for month after month after month, I'm going to kick your ass. You're going you're to give me total control over your social media. I'm going to beat the shit out of you. And then he shows up to carry, you know, in my home at 530 in the morning. <laughs> What would you do? Somebody that sent you a threatening message every day for three or four months. I'm going to kick your ass. I'm going to kick your ass. I'm going to kick your. I'm going to teach you a lesson. And then they, you know, and then you're in your underwear. You just wake up, and he's in your house. And he refuses to go. I don't want you inside. This is my private residence. You, have, you don't have my permission to be in here. I'm not leaving. And then he, you know, and and then he goes and creates all these fake profiles in my name to disparage me. And he, he goes, you know, three hours on online, a video of him just rambling on incoherently and saying a lot of things that aren't true and don't have any basis in reality. Twisted and sick and insulting his recently deceased father. So uh, we need to pray for him. We need to pray that he gets treatment. I think he needs to be institutionalized. I don't know. This, this is sad. And I know he wants to control me. 
And I'm not going to allow him to control me. I'm going to live my life, and he can lie and threaten and harass. But, you know, like I said, I'm building a case against him. It's just such a distraction. i got so many things to do and take care of, and I have to deal with this nonsense. It's total nonsense. It's really sad. So, like I said, we need to pray for him, pray that he gets the treatment that he needs, because I think he's a danger to himself, and he's a danger to many other people, including me. And uh, it's being honest about what's going on, so... Uh, it's it's really unfortunate to go through this. But like I said, this is nothing new. He's done this to my father. He's done this to my brother. He's done this to my sister. Now he's, you know, this target, me. And uh, like I said, just pray about the situation and hopefully, I wish he'd just get these profiles down and he'd stop. But uh, uh, he's probably going to open more and more and just keep on doing what he's going to do. And, you know, I guess he's, he's on this mission to, like I said, he wants to close the church down, cause us to lose our property, and you know, just leave me, uh, just ruin my life, because because he did criminal cri criminal trespass and and uh, uh, you know, uh, breaking and entering, and you know, somehow all that that's my fault. Um, but it's a sad thing, and I wish he'd just stop and leave me alone. Before, <laughs> you know, if he would apologize and be civil, I mean, he's my brother. I talked to him. He's not going to apologize. He's not going to be civil. And uh, now he's taking it too far with what he's done with all these fake profiles. Uh, I mean, you have to forgive everybody. You have to forgive him. But this is a, a, a betrayal of trust. And sadly, he's a danger to me. And I have to take measures to protect myself uh, from this threat of my dangerous and mentally ill brother. So just pray about it. Hopefully he'll get the treatment. Who knows if they diagnose his problems and give him treatment, maybe put on medications, maybe he could, you know, after he's received treatment, maybe he can be released as long as it's on his mud, uh, medications and perhaps he can be a, a your average citizen and contribute something to, to uh, the world society because he's not, he's not doing it right now. 